What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, we're covering the hotfix 35.5.7 today in Warframe, where they made some pretty interesting changes to elite Archimedians. I'll be giving some opinions on that, and we'll also be just covering what they changed. They also made some LOS changes on some certain abilities, too, but mainly elite deep Archimedian changes, and I actually have a bit of an issue with one of these, so get ready for some hot takes near the end of the video. Before we get into it, though, make sure you sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads. I'll probably be live tonight on the live stream channel as well. If you want to come stop by, I'll be grinding out some Warframe stuff and probably making some new build videos. So you're in the right place for Warframe content. All right, so let's get right into what they changed. I'm going to go over all the stuff. I'm going to give my opinions at the end because, yeah, I'm probably not going to make many people happy with my opinions on a certain one of these changes. But I think it really just reflects how this game is handled by the devs and, you know, the certain players of the game as well as a whole. So let's get right into the changes. All right, so we have the update 35.5.7 here, and the major changes here were for Deep Archimedians and LOS abilities. Uh, additionally, there were some server upgrades in Warframe last week. That's why there was big invite issues, but those should all be fixed, and there should not be any, like, matchmaking issues or dojo issues after what happened over the weekend. All right, so let's get to these changes right here. So, changes to Deep Archimedian to address mere defense missions. The following changes were made based on feedback received from players about the difficulty of mere defense missions in Deep Archimedians. But they applied to all of Warframe. So, basically, people were saying mere defense was too hard in the Elite Archimedian, okay? Let's set the stage with that. The Elite Archimedian was being said it was too hard. Okay, I'd like to let you know that I have never failed the mere defense. I did it. I failed it solo, but in a squad, not even a single time. So let's get into what they changed to make it easier. Now, these changes right here, these first couple, I don't think it's actually an issue. These are actually just more like bug fixes. But we have a change down here that I don't understand why that had to happen. But as far as the changes, made the following changes to the hollow veins. That's like the snake enemy. The big, like, rolly snake thing that has, like, a laser beam and the, the crazy hands. That enemy was glitched, doing, like, triple the damage to the objectives. So they made sure they fixed that. Uh, greatly reduced how often the defense target was hit with the ranged laser. So basically, if you ever had the snake like attacking the mere defense thing before, it was multi-hitting the objective. Uh, due to the, the defensive objective being much bigger than a player, it was being hit multiple times by the snake's laser beam. So now the snake will only hit the laser beam on the objective once. So basically, it's like, good. Like, that was a glitch. It was not supposed to be doing that. They fixed that. Also, it changed it so the AOV attack uh, logic is improved the frequency of when it's used. So before it would only use the attack when there was a player nearby that would just keep doing it. I think that's the attack where like it shakes its hands around. It's like an AOE ability. That attack was kind of weird, yeah. Now it will only trigger when a player are nearby and will be canceled when the players are no longer within radius. So it will it will be constantly moving now, which is good. Also, it was there was an issue where it would make you permanently vulnerable to self-damage. Also, it would work on the objective too. Okay, so the snake got some bug fixes. The snake would definitely 100 to 0 that thing pretty quick. So good to know that was a glitch and not just us being bad. Next, there's a change to uh, Tiana Pass. So that, and also uh, for Munio as well. They have made it where you now heal the objective more after picking up the glyphs and uh, or the gems in Tiana Pass. Before, collecting them would uh, increase the health for 5,000, or rather, restore the health for 5,000. Now, it restores 3,500 plus 15% of the target's maximum health, ensuring the pickup scales better as levels increase when hitting a level of difficulty. Okay, so now you get a lot of a bigger heal if you collect those glyphs. Like, a lot bigger. Like So, depending on how much HP it has. I'll put some gameplay up on, on the screen of a... Uh, of a elite Archimedian in a bit, but yeah, it's going to be a massive, massive heal. So that's more of like, you know, th this is making it easier for sure, but also like this applies to players doing like, you know, just normal mere defense as well. So whatever on that one. Here's the one I actually have a, a personal issue with. I know not everyone's going to agree with me on this one, but I just think the elite Archimedian should require, you know, actual decision making and smart play. And what we have right here is just making it easier for everyone, just period. The uh, Vitrium defense target now have a 75% damage reduction against uh, Rogue, Void Rigs, and Bone Widow abilities and weapons. So, I'd like to clarify and just point this out. The only reason you'd ever fight a Void Rig or Bone Widow in this mission is if you did not stop the alarm fast enough, or if you manually summoned it yourself by summoning your own mech. So, this thing, having 75% DR against an enemy that you could have completely prevented from even spawning is crazy to me, especially in a mission called Elite Archimedian. So I'll go over that more near the end of the video because I don't want to like, turn the entire video into that. 
But I don't think that we should be getting nerfs to the enemies in these missions because they're already easy enough for a lot of players. Now, not for everybody, of course, and it is RNG. There's an issue with that, too. But let's just go over the rest of these changes first. Um, unknown items will now have not owned in the tooltip here. If you don't have it in the Elite Archimedean random loadouts, which a lot of people don't like. In an effort to make uh, communicate to players that have enabled the Archimedean, there's now an indicator saying it's the Archimedean. Good. By the way, if you have someone in your squad that does not have the Elite Archimedean unlocked, it will kick them out if they don't have it unlocked yet, unfortunately. Also added, uh, now the now the Vampire Cloud things will uh, attack uh, Spectres and allies and stuff, and also your Mechs and Merlina as well. They didn't do that before. Okay, so most of, most of this stuff is not a big deal. Line of Sight changes to Hildren's fourth ability, if anyone even cast that thing. Um, and also Caliban's Sentient Wrath. I'm surprised they put this on here because Caliban's Sentient Wrath did not have Line of Sight. Did they? I guess they added Line of Sight on the Sentient Wrath after this change. For when, I, when I used it with Hildren, Hildren Sentient Wrath stop build, it went directly through walls. So I'm assuming they added Line of Sight to that here. Maybe they meant to talk about his fourth ability and said Fusion Strike. Uh, but either way, I don't... I, I mean, we got Hildren's four and Caliban's two. Not exactly the most used abilities. Speaking of abilities that aren't used that much, we got Gruda's Blood Altar. The LOS checks on Blood Altar remain the same, uh, but it will also... We added the ability of Blood Altar to perform an additional jump to help clear small obstructions since LOS checks could fail on targets that were not visible but partially behind terrain. That's pretty annoying. I know what they're talking about. Like, basically, it's say like, target obstructed, target obstructed. You could not jump on them with Blood Altar, uh, but again, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Hydroid Plunder. I don't remember this having LOS, but maybe it did. Now they're improving the LOS on that. Ember's Inferno, improved LOS on that. Now here's a here's one that I've heard. I've got reports this is worse than before by a lot. Fix Mag's pull ability, pulling from all directions instead of the cone directly in front of her as intended. So they accidentally made it where uh, pull was all around you, so great for endo farming. Uh, but now it's gotten LOS more consistently, and it's now a cone in front of her, not a sphere all around her, which it was glitched to be. So that's going to probably be a lot worse. Um, but also, like, you know, you're getting that endo pretty quick anyway, so who cares, I guess. That, that's kind of unfortunate, though. They had to kind of change that. Although it, it must have not been intended in the first place. Uh, fix the following abilities, not ignoring terrain that are up to five meters from the starting point. Dante's Dark Verso, uh, Dark Wing Titania buff. I've already tried it since this change. It feels a lot better. Garuda's fourth ability, Seeking Talons, now properly goes through walls. And then also Mag's Magnetize Explosion, the, specifically on the hold cast. So the rest of this stuff is not a big deal. A Ganaro Sandstorm now picks up enemies properly. Let's go over the Elite Archimedean uh, mech changes, because I actually am not a huge fan of those. I think that we should not be making these missions hard, uh, easier. They should be being made harder, if anything. And not because of the ra random loadouts are artificial difficulty, for sure. So here we are on a uh, Ar Archimedean defense here. I, don't, I think this is like the non-elite one, because I, I was getting my, helped my teammates unlock the elite one. But either way, the elite one was even easier, because some players didn't even bring like the full randomized loadout. I have a full randomized loadout here, which you don't need to do, because the only reason you do that is if you want 50 Voss for at the end, for some reason. Or to unlock the one-time cosmetic. Now, this mission, as far as the mech that they just nerfed and made the mech do like basically no damage to the objective, there you would not be fighting that mech unless you hit that big yellow button. See up, up there? Uh, where the, the vampire clouds just spawned, there is a mech summoning station, the yellow button right there. If I hit this button, it will summon a mech Exodus. That is, that, I chose to do that. There was no like, oh, it might randomly spawn. It will only spawn if a enemy sets off the alarm and you don't kill the enemy in time, or if you push that button. So that means they're, they're making a completely preventable thing, like massively nerfing it. If someone's activating the mech in your mission, it should be a team effort to take that out. This this was one of the only challenging missions in the entire Elite Archimedean. And I'm even I've got a full randomized lot. Now technically I do have a Bronco and Karn, which is pretty nice. But yes, it is, should be a team effort to take this thing out when you activate it. If you're in a public matchmaking mission and someone activates this when you're not ready for it, that's just public matchmaking for you. So I think this was this nerf was unnecessary uh, because it's uh, like it just gives me little hope for the raids going forward. We're already getting nerfs to make this a lot easier, which it's only been out for like two weeks. And, and additionally, like, it's supposed to be the, the hardest content in the game. It, it probably still is the hardest content in the game to some players, but that's only if you're choosing to go with the fully randomized loadouts and you're putting on all the debuffs. Like, if you don't put those debuffs on, it's like the same thing. It's, it's maybe even easier than Netra Cell because guess what? In a Netra Cell, you can't, you can't actually use gear, but here you can. You can use Spectres, you can use Elite On Calls, you can use Energy Pads. 
Um, I think you might be able to, there's like a gear lockout, I think, for uh, for energy pads in normal Netra cells. But yeah, the, the specters and all that, you cannot use those in Netra cells. In here, you can, unless there's a gear lockout uh, modifier. So they're a lot easier than I think they should be, personally, for the word Elite being thrown in there. Now, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught's not exactly hard either, but this requires rank 5 with the newest syndicate, and also, you know, it's... They're pretty high-level enemies, to be honest. Like, as, as far as most players are concerned, these are, like, level 200 enemies. The Elite ones got, like, level 400 enemies. I just don't think that we should be making this easier uh, for, for players because it's it, it's a lot better loot than a normal Netracel. You're using two Netracel search pulses. You're getting potentially multiple Tau Shards, even. So, I don't know. I... I, I I knew this would happen eventually. It's just, I, f I find it a crazy change. This is the first one they made. A completely preventable enemy is getting, a big, I mean, 75% damage is a big nerf. If this th if your objective was dying to the, 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 the mechs, it was either, you know, someone in public matchmaking trolling you, hitting the button when they shouldn't have, when your team wasn't ready for it, or it was the snake that was clearly glitched out and they just patched the snake being, like, doing triple damage or whatever it was. So... I just don't like the direction this is going. I think they should have not made this change to the mechs. Because as you can see, I chose to summon it there. If you're fighting this mech in here, you are choosing to fight that mech. Because it is not going to spawn unless you either didn't kill the, the alarm dude or you summon it yourself. So, let me know how you guys feel about this. I know it's a hot take. Not everyone's going to agree with this. Okay, now I, I know. It's, it's probably an unpopular opinion. Some players just want the path of least resistance to the most loot. It, it's just really how it is. Um... I, I think the Deep Archimedians are a decent idea. I don't like the... Ra me, me personally, I hate the random loadouts, honestly. This could be a whole video on its own. I don't like the random loadouts. I think random loadouts are a dumb way to do difficulty. But if you, if you were dying to the mech, it was literally your fault, okay? Um, and yes, the random loadouts are dumb. And that is that the big part about that is because there's just so many crappy weapons in this game. There really are. You can't make a like you know an Argonac and a a Stug do as much damage as a Bronco and Karnon, for example. Like there are certain weapons that will be the choice no matter what when you have those options. When you have everything really really bad, you might as not even want to do the Archimedean that week, or you might want to get carried. Reminder too: the modifiers and the extra random loot are optional. You're not forced to use these unless you want the maximum loot. If you want the maximum loot, you have to you have to you have to do the little dance. If you you got to do the dance if you if you want to get the maximum loot. If you don't, if you if it's too annoying for you, turn off that modifier. Turn off that weapon. You'll still get more loot than a normal Netra cell, but it's going to be a lot more effort and a lot probably like maybe not take the not that much longer, but a, a similar amount of time. So. Like I said, let me know how you guys feel about this. Um, I think that they should not be... Yeah, I don't think they should be nerfing this stuff. I should, they should make it harder, if anything. Like, honestly, if, if you're asking me, make it where no gears allowed here. No specters. No energy pads. Make, no no on-calls. All that stuff makes it a lot easier. And to me, I want this to be like the, the one really difficult mission I do for the week. All right? I'll see you guys next video. Uh, definitely going to annoy some people with this one. But, hey, that's th this is my channel. This is my opinions. And I want to hear your guys' opinions a lot as well down below. Take it easy, guys. Peace.